it, it's really got to be drilled. When we talk about a low single leg. This is going to be a quick intro on kind of one way to look at single leg finish positions, not necessarily the actual finish option. So there's kind of three angles that you can finish on. You're either behind, all the way across, or in between those two. And the options differ for each. So let's take a look. So here we're going to take a look at the middle angle, which is most of the time where you're coming to your feet. All right, so off the single leg, he gets in and right here. So this is a pretty good example of the middle angle. So he's not, Sagilayev's not too far on this side and his head's definitely not across. He's just right in the middle or on the, the uh, angle corner front corner of the guy's body, All right? And this is typically where he's going to try to come to his feet or adjust to any defensive reactions. So this is kind of the standard um, to finish, All right? So he's on this middle angle. I mean, if he can't circle behind or the partner's not giving the correct defense to circle behind, he's going to come to his feet. And if he can't get his head across or the partner's not giving the correct defense um, to get his head across, then he's going to come to his feet and he's going to stay on this kind of middle angle. So he comes up to his feet and we're only going to look at kind of the simple finishes um, for this video and then we'll get more in depth in some other ones. All right, so the finish there was just a quick little dump, which is very good, very effective. Comes to his feet and then immediately circles in front to knock the guy off balance behind circles, clears his leg, and finishes. So that's kind of the middle angle. Here's an example of the behind or backside angle. Again, these are all going to be pretty obvious. Um, in this video, we're going to take the, the simplest uh, and easiest to see examples. So here we see Sajal Live shoots, and immediately, whether it was off his attack or off the opponent's defense, is definitely more beside or behind his opponent than on that middle angle we just looked at, All right? So, and again, the finish options vary here. He's just going to use a simple um, shelf so he gets his hand above the knee to, good, to get good control. Picks it up on his hip, and climbs up the leg to finish, All right? So we've looked at the middle angle. And now this is when either he or his opponent determines um, when he's more behind or beside, he'll take this backside option. Here's the across option or all the way in front. Just nice little, um, most time leads to cut back. So here we see him attack. Again, he's trying to fix his angle, trying to, you know, look, get on this middle angle. And then as the opponent continues to defend, as he starts to come up, we see his head slide all the way across to this outside um, hip. And if that happens, then he's got his uh, across angle, right? So we see his body is a little more basically splitting the opponent's body. Um, his head positions more on this far side as opposed to on their body in the middle or head position on the opposite side. So heads on this far hip, takes it into a nice little cutback Metzger finish. It's really nice. One of my favorite finish options.